Hello there, patients. How are you? I hope you are all safe and free from any virus like COVID-19. Are you also longing for the time that we freely enjoy doing things outside our house? Well, for us to be safe from COVID-19, we tend to stay at home and refrain from going outside. And to cope with our new normal setup, instead of having face-to-face -face class, we are doing the distant learning modalities like modular learning approach, online learning, and the like. I am Sir Francis Gamboa, your virtual health teacher for today, which will bring the classroom in your house as I discuss to you our lesson about the nature of emerging and re-emerging diseases. So, grab your things as I present to you our lesson. For today, our target competency is analyzes the nature of emerging and re-emerging diseases. And for our learning objectives, number one, identify the nature of emerging and re-emerging diseases. Two, name and classify emerging and re-emerging diseases. And three, appreciate the importance of prevention and control of communicable diseases. Good personal habits guard you from pathogens and prevent you from spreading infectious diseases. There are several ways that you must follow and practice to prevent you from acquiring diseases. But what is really the nature of particular disease? Where did it come from? How does it form? Those are just some questions that you will answer after this lesson. Microorganisms that can cause diseases are called pathogens. We know that a disease starts from a pathogen. It is an agent like virus, bacteria, fungi, helmets, and protozoa that causes disease. An example of infectious disease that really affects the whole world is the coronavirus. But what kind of disease is coronavirus or COVID-19? Is this emerging or re-emerging disease? To answer that question, let us define first the following. Emerging diseases and re-emerging diseases. Let us have emerging diseases. These are diseases that newly appears in the population or that have existed before but rapidly increasing in incidence and geographic range. These are also the outbreaks of previously unknown diseases and persistence of infectious diseases that cannot be controlled. Ah, this means that when a disease is due, it is described as emerging. And when a disease brought many numbers of infected persons from one to another, it is classified as emerging disease. Can you give an example of disease that newly appeared before and even the present that greatly affect many lives of people? Great! These are an example of emerging diseases. 1. Ebola hemorrhagic fever. It is caused by filoviridae family virus that was first recognized in 1977 with unknown natural reservoir, nosocomial transmission. 2. AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. It is caused by human immunodeficiency virus or HIV that recognized in 1983 and contributing factors of acquired this disease are the following multiple sex partners, intravenous drug use, and maternal transplants. 3. COVID-19 Coronavirus disease is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. Formerly, this disease was referred to as 2019 Global Coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. Most people infected by this virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. Next is re-emerging diseases. These are diseases that had decreases in incidence and brought under control, but surfacing again due to changes in health condition of the population, 
These diseases threaten all countries and human behavior affects the emergence. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay klase ng mga sakit na nagpahirap sa maraming tao sa isang lugar na kontrol at maaari mo rin magkaroon ng pinatawag na outbreak depende sa mga dahilan. Although it was already controlled, it seems to surface again due to some reasons like poor sanitation, environmental factors, and the like. Can you cite an example of disease that have been controlled but currently spreading because of the changes in health condition of the population? Alright, here are some examples of pre-emerging diseases. 1. Malaria This caused by an infectious agent called Plasmodium species, protozoon. This may be brought by favorable conditions for mosquito vector. 2. Tuberculosis this caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. People experience this disease have weak immune system. This disease became popular in many of the countries in the world during the early times for it kills many lives. In our country now, TB can be easily cured because the government already have a program called DOTS for those people suffering from this kind of disease. Although the number of cases of people having TB declined, there is always a possibility of outbreak depending on the contributory factors of the emergence. 3. Rubella or also known as measles. This is an example of pre-emerging disease caused by Morphillivirus genes. Factors of having this disease is failure to be vaccinated or failure to receive the second dose of the vaccine. Remember, when you are a baby, your parents bring you to a pediatrician or health center to be vaccinated by different vaccines to prevent having diseases. And one of these is the MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. The first dose is generally given to children around 9 months to 15 months of age, with a second dose of 15 months to 6 years of age. There you have it, patients! Emerging and re-emerging diseases are different, but they have one thing in common. They both cause infectious diseases that might ruin one's body once it invades the whole system or worse our body. Always remember that health is wealth and prevention is better than cure. In our current situation, we are facing a global crisis because of this pandemic brought by COVID-19. There are safety protocols that we must do and follow to prevent acquiring such diseases like washing our hands, wearing our face mask and face shield, observe at least one meter distance from a person, and avoid crowded places. To be safe, the best thing to do is stay at home. Be vigilant. Always be responsible for all your actions. Again, this is Sir Francis Camboa saying, Stay safe and God bless.